I'll read a couple of donations here. We have a $30 donation from ISH3P saying, Hey there, guys. I've been watching GDQ for years now, but I haven't donated until now. Dark Souls is my favorite game of all time, and I'm so glad I could get to donate during the run. Praise the sun. $50 from Chris89 saying, Sitting here with some friends watching and felt it was the perfect time to donate. Much love to everyone who takes their time to support such a great cause. And now we're going to take a little bit of time to do some sponsored ad breaks. We're going to play, and we'll be back shortly. Claim loot in Overwatch. Get one golden loot box with a guaranteed legendary item. Plus more coming soon. Plus a free channel sub every 30 days and ad free viewing on Twitch. Play Warframe and get the exclusive Prime with Prime Bundle. Instantly unlock one of the most sought after Warframes, Frost Prime. You'll also get an exclusive Prime Cyan Dana, a Warframe slot, and a Dragon Mod Pack. Start your free trial of Twitch Prime today. Humble Monthly subscribers get over $100 worth of games for only $12 every month and get to keep the games. It's just like a regular Humble Bundle. The Humble Trove is a new collection of Humble Originals and other DRM-free games, and it's only available to Humble Monthly subscribers. The Humble Store offers over 5,000 games, and Humble Monthly subscribers get a 10% discount on store purchases, and they have also given over $98 million to charities so far. Humble bundles, humble store purchases, and humble monthly subscriptions all benefit charity. Humble monthly subscriptions and regular humble bundles both make great gifts. Individual Steam keys from any bundle can also be gifted to a friend. And you are watching SGDQ 2017. That is Summer Games Done Quick. This is a week-long charity marathon benefiting Doctors Without Borders, which is an international independent medical humanitarian organization that has delivered emergency aid to people affected by armed conflict, epidemics, malnutrition, natural disasters, and exclusion from health care in 69 countries in 2015. On any one day, thousands of individuals representing dozens of nationalities can be found providing assistance to people caught in crises around the world. They are doctors, nurses, logistic experts, administrators, epidemiologists, laboratory technicians, mental health professionals, and others who work together in accordance with MFSS guiding principles of humanitarian action and medical ethics. The organization received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1999. And now we're going to throw it over to the interview place to look at some even more of our prizes. How's it going, everybody? I am Jay Hobbs, and I am joined by the ever-lovely Scent. Hey, Scent, are there any prizes in this marathon? Uh, <laughs> there, there might be, Hobbs. There, there, there maybe, just Maybe might just be. a couple? <laughs> a few. A few. So, uh, yeah, we, we definitely have uh, some prizes coming up for the next few runs. Dark Souls, though? That was pretty great. Are you oh, a fan man, of Dark Souls? Oh, man, Dark Souls Hobbs? was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That was, I, I'm a big Dark Souls fan, and just watching both those runs was absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, but, you know, next up, we have Super Panga World and then Super Mario 64, just one of the, like, right. the classic cornerstones of speedrunning. Right. Yeah, and so for that Mario block, we do have some pretty cool Mario prizes. Um, 
you know, he's been up in front of the PC for most of the marathon, but we have this awesome Paper Mario Parlor here by Count Gooby. It's going to be a $10 minimum donation uh, throughout that Mario block coming up. Uh, here's a really... I had to stretch there. Here's a really cool <laughs> one uh, sent to us by Sorano. It's a uh, 3D Mario Perler of a bunch of different, you know, blocks Wait, from wow. the series. But, but here's what makes it really cool. The question mark block on top <laughs> is a coin bank. <laughs> and get your donations in now. <laughs> Liter literally, just, just get them in this box. Just get, put them in the box. Now accepting cash donations. No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> what else you got? I know you got more. You just want to oh, keep I, going. I, I certainly got more. Uh, it's, in fact, it's so big, I'm going to have to have someone hand it to me. So from ping pong, we have um, wow. this perler. Yes, this is a perler. Wait, that's a perler? Oh that, my god. <laughs> that, that is a perler of uh, the stained glass just, pattern. It looks like a stained glass window. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Print. Of uh, wow. you know, Princess Peach's Castle, Super Mario 64. Um, Hobbs, I know you love 16 star, but, but please don't jump through this. It's fragile. Fine. <laughs> you, got, you got to do a zero star. I'm going to have to learn today. zero star now, yeah, Ex I guess. Exactly. I'm assuming, okay, so that's gonna probably be during the Mario block as well. Yeah, that's also okay. during the Mario block. I believe it's a $25 minimum, but you know, as always, the tracker's gonna have that information. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, on this table, we certainly have a lot of other really cool yeah, prizes that are couple. running right now as well, yeah. You know, we, we have our Bandai Namco prize pack. That's a $125 minimum from now until the end of the event. And that is a, a single donation of $125. But let me tell you, it's worth it. You're getting a collector's it's, edition of Tekken 7. You can't so find cool. those. Like, you, you, you can't get them anymore. And that is pretty cool. Collector's edition of Little Nightmare. You have this awesome Tekken 7 stick from Hori. It's great. Collector's edition of Tales of Berseria. Really love that game. Really love the Tales series as a whole. Um, you have a hat, Tekken 7, signed by Harada himself. Wait, the sign? I didn't even see the signature. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on the brim. It's signed by Harada himself, the father of Tekken. Like, cool. That is absolutely insane. We also have this Reaper statue running from now until the end of the marathon. Uh, that is a $50 uh, minimum donation sent to us by the awesome Sean Hammonds. Really cool guy. Um, but you know what, Hops? We got something even cooler here in this uh, neat little leather case. I think I I've seen this once before, but I'm always happy to see it again. You know, I'm, I'm always happy to show this off. Uh, from David Ho and from Nile, we have this amazing one-of-a-kind Nile Black Swan watch. This is, you know, old-world craftsmanship, handmade watch. But what makes wow. it super cool is that on the back here, we have a custom engraving for Summer Games Done Quick 2017 with the logos of MSF and GDQ. Um, I mean, guys, this watch, before the engraving, is valued at about $4,000, wow, which is 4, insane. I mean, and this engraving, again, absolutely one-of-a-kind. That is a $200 cumulative donation from today. So if you've donated $200 today, you're in on it. And you know what? You should get in on it because in addition to all of the cool stuff on this table, we also have this PC, which is 150 yeah. through the marathon. So hey, I mean, if you're not qualified for this PC, now's a good time to get it. And trust me, you want this <laughs> PC. It's got great high-end specs. It's got awesome parts from Corsair in there. Um, it's got a ton of memory, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, a terabyte of hard drive space, and two SSDs that I think are 500 megs total. Great graphics card. I know, I've seen the specs myself. It's insane. And just to reiterate, so that, what? Oh, we have it turned on now. Yeah, I didn't and, get and to see it light on. up. Yeah, yeah. No, you haven't seen that yet, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's always fun the first time. <laughs> I didn't know we actually plugged it in. Cool. Uh, and just to be clear, so for the watch and the PC, it's just cumulative, total amount of donation, right? So I can donate $50 here and there and get up to 200 for the watch and 150 for the PC. Exactly. As long, okay. as, long as you get those totals in today, you are good. Okay. Well, yeah, make it happen, people, today. Yeah, we, we've already surpassed our uh, donation total from SGDQ last year. That's insane. And, you know, we have so many awesome runs still left in the marathon. Super excited for it. We're going to throw it back up to the host as you guys get hype, get ready for Super Panga World. Take it away. Thank you so much, guys, for telling us about all those great prizes. Make sure you get your donations in for those. And happy birthday to Scent. We've got a $30 donation from Zane234. Was going to donate 10, then Bubbles stole my heart. $50 from Sharakor. 
Thank you to all the runners at SGDQ 2017. I look forward to watching my favorite games get destroyed every year. And we are ready for Super Panga World Any% Percent by Dodecahedron. Yo, he, he, he said your name right. All right. Woo! Yeah. No, it's Duty. Duty Kahedrin. Duty Chadron. So this is a ROM hack made by Link.x2. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Grand Pooh Bear's Super Dram World run at AGDQ, this is the revenge hack for that. So this was created um, August 2015, a couple weeks before Mario Maker came out. So this is the last real like Kaizo ROM hack we've seen since then. Um, oh, there's a lot of people in the crowd that are going to feel shaded for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, um, little donation things. I'm going to donate $15 per death and $50 per missed yump. Yeah, and we're all going to be jumping in on that, too. So yep. we're going to yep. have a total of something like 45 bucks per death. Yep. But we're going to make things a little bit more interesting than that, too. Yes. <laughs> so I'm also going to be donating. Well, we should do a roll call, shouldn't we? Let's have a roll call. Huh? Okay. I'm Carl Sagan, 42. I'm Pangea Panga. I'm Grand Pooh Bear. So we are going to be dropping, or I'm going to be dropping $10 per pun <laughs> that is either comes out of the couch here or from the donations back there. So I'm not, I'm not saying that you need to do puns, but I am saying you're going to be hurting the charity if you don't. So I'll donate, I'll donate 15 for everyone that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, audience, if you want to keep, help us keep track of the deaths, that would be nice. And the puns, that would be nice. <laughs> All right. See, Dode, I know there isn't much room for error in this run, so, you know, I'm just, just doing what I can to help you out, boo. All right. That's $20. Uh, countdown? <laughs> Audience countdown? <laughs> Why am I friends with you? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! So a, uh, a common theme of this hack, as you can see from this intro screen here, uh, there was an article written about Panga a couple years ago after he beat Super Mario World blindfolded. Um, so that, this ROM hack references a ton of things in that article. And also this ROM hack is hard as heck. So yeah. I mean, a lot of people are familiar with Kaiser ROM hacks. I mean, this one just, this one just ups the ante even more. So you're going to see lots of crazy stuff. We're expecting lots of deaths. That's why we're donating per death. I mean, Dode's best run is six deaths and yeah. I mean, something else we should mention about this is that there is all of oh. one person in the world who's beaten this game in one sitting. That was the hardest yeah. jump of the game right there. Hard, <laughs> hardest yeah. jump of the game, casual. <laughs> Easy every time. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, wait. We needed to do that. That was, so that was an intended death. The, when, you, when, you hit the, when you hit the save and warp out of it, he actually changed where it goes. This is a little throwback to Kaiser 1, bounce on some bullets. Intended death for charity. Exactly. So a lot of this game speaks for itself. It's just really awesome hard platforming. The little baby Yoshi can actually push that, but of course, there goes the baby Yoshi. See you later. Bye, Yoshi. Rest in pieces. Come on over, buddy. Move fast, Sir Pogi. So... <laughs> Those, those clap and chucks, you have to jump when they're at, right when they're kind of doing their clap. Um, by the way, this, so this ending section is really awesome. This is called a Kaizo Trap. Oh, that might be the bad pixel. Oh, so he has to set those ending platforms up so that they swing around. I, and, might, I might die here. And dump him out. Okay, right. oh. <laughs> yeah, in, in Mario World, you, you can die if you fall off a platform after getting the gold tape or an orb. But you can't, do, you can't be hit by any enemies afterwards. It's just a little interesting thing. That's also if true in Mario 3, but that never happens in Mario 3 because levels aren't built like that. So he just did a little shortcut there. So even, even ROM hacks have, <laughs> have unintended strats. Um, he kind of did a little skip right there, and now he's going to be getting the key to go to the Glitch Palace. So this is the Red Glitch Palace. Um, I don't even know why it's called the Glitch Palace, because... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there aren't I any mean, glitches in it. It's like. really just straightforward. You just, like, you know, two Yoshi, uh, one Yoshi. I don't even know what's going on. Um, Dude, Dode, didn't you practice this section? Dude, I don't know. Dude, I lost Yoshi. Okay, we're through this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now Yoshimi, All right. now you don't. So here, I think I remember how to get to <laughs> That one wasn't doors. even good. Jeez. Wait, how are you going to get to those doors right there? Oh, I, no. I passed them up. I got to go back. 
So I asked right, Dode how he was. Get to the doors. I asked Dode how he was so good at doing that. It's because he always gets his haircut from Great Clips. <laughs> yeah, you, Carl. Carl tested that one out before the stream, and I said no. So don't. <laughs> So, so he's trying to do a block duplication glitch here. If he dupes a couple of blocks here and then gets the P-switch wedged in it, but he's unfortunately got some bad stuff happening here. So he has to do a single frame pause in order to get and he got go. it. So we just made a money fountain because we have to yeah. pay off these no blocks. Make it rain. Make it rain. So when, when all of those blocks are vibrating like that, it overloads the number of animations on screen, which allows when he hits the music blocks, it's like they're in the end. Yo, yo, yo. yo, saving money right there. Woo. Saving one one. money. Dode hates charity but loves swag. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. So so this actually this uh this ROM hack was made in response of uh an article written about Panga right here. And we're gonna read that article yeah. real quick. So, so you USA, read that Panga? So USA Today article, it reads you could watch this grown man play a video game blindfolded in 23 minutes and marvel at his ability to clear the game. Or you could go out on this Wednesday morning and start learning a new language, start going a garden, volunteer, or read a book. Well, that's not, that's not it. That's not it. His YouTube name is Pangea Panga. I assume that isn't his real name. Well, maybe it is. Whatever the case, Pangea Panga is an accomplished video game speedrunner, and we should all hope to one day lack the responsibility he does so we too can successfully play video games blindfolded. Shade. So, Dud, was that the right strat, or did you just wing that? That was the right strat. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these puns are out of control. So a really interesting thing about ROM hacks is, I mean, you know, you have the whole game to just play with, but you can actually go beyond what's in the real game, too. So, like, these death things, these death blocks, aren't in the real game. Um, so you can, it was actually reskin munchers, munchers so yeah. they're basically just munchers everywhere. Though there are also cases where you can add stuff that even isn't even based off of anything in the real game, too. Very nice, Dode. And we're off. In there. Like swimwear. So this is Aaron's crib. Shoutouts to Area 51. Uh, he likes Doritos, so uh, I'm just gonna die here. Oh, <laughs> some charity. Deuce. There's one for charity. Um, Link that. Link that likes to joke that Aaron likes Mountain Dew and Doritos, so we're gonna see a lot of Doritos and Mountain Dew. So that's actually pretty tight to get the star there. There's a hidden block here. So now this is just. Bonk central, the less you bonk, the better chance you have of using the maximum number of frames for your star. Um, that's Ooh. entirely a row of hidden blocks there. Yep. Okay. It's okay. Everything is Vine. This is Vine. That's not even a pun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you have to tap the A button um, to do a spin jump for two frames or less. That's kind of a throwback jump to Kaizo 1. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ate too many Doritos. <laughs> Trace. So we are almost to the Mountain Dew. So invisible bullet here. Boop. Yeah. It's, it's right there. <laughs> we have just opened up a new incentive. The <gasps> Portal 2 run is back on if we hit $200,000. Ooh, GLaDOS. Make it happen. Yeah. Do it. So continuing with the Mountain Dew Pepsi Co theme, we have Pepsi Resnors. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And of and course the 360 no scope. The, the like the one random part of the boss <laughs> the one random part of the boss fight of course gives him the curveball that it, So uh, he didn't actually customize the Pepsi logo in there. Uh, it just so happens, if you have Resonors in the same room as a Magic Koopa, they look like that. Good game, Nintendo. Great hack, like that. They, they knew. Ooh, nice. We have a $1,000 donation from BK. BK! Hey. Shoutouts to Dode, my Super Mario World spirit animal. Good luck with the run. Also, hi, Panga, Carl, Pooh, and Link Dead. I know you're watching. Let's get some Yoshi food. Yo, Dode, that was... That, oh, my God. No. No. Dude, that no. Was, that no. was some, that was some no. Tricera no. top-notch gameplay right there. Boo. <laughs> no, no, you, you can boo me, but boos are in the game. You're just making another pun. Speaking of puns... <laughs> Shame. 
Does anybody want to read this text here? After defeating Aaron and his stylish Resnors, you head towards Link Dead Castle, but first you must pass through the dangerous, but chocolatey Panga's Butthole. <laughs> just, well, just keep in mind, GDQ, you guys let this game in here on this next level. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault. <laughs> Dude, I made sure to go to the bathroom before this run. <laughs> oh, we got a bad football. Oh, rogue okay, football. That's fine. One thing you'll notice about uh, Panga's Butthole is it's a lot less tight than Dram's Butthole was in uh, yeah, Super we're, Dram World. We're, we're, we're going to be in and out a lot faster. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. This this part is actually awesome. So he's going to be hitting Kaizo blocks that are hidden below the chuck. But he has to jump at the right animation of the chuck in order to get the chuck to jump up like that and use him as a platform. So here is a setup that took just forever to find out. You just literally hold right. It actually um, did take forever. I didn't, do <laughs> yeah. that. I didn't do that until like a month ago. Yeah, no, we, I was in his chat, and someone's just like, yeah, just walk off and hold right. And it was like, his mind was blown, you know? <laughs> yes, I mean, something worth noting is this level took Dode 45 hours. Or sorry, this game took Dode 45 hours to beat the first time that he played it. Um, and he just got a new world record oh, in the... Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Thanks, Panga. That oh, no problem with that one. Not easy. <laughs> he just got a new world record yesterday in the practice room of 26 minutes, so... I'm just going to swim in the poop. Yep. Swimming swim in, the in the doo doo. And orb. Orb! Orb. Yo, that level orb. is not easy, and Doe just one shotted. I think that's pretty awesome, guys. <laughs> He's a master of my butthole. He, got he just annihilated it. In and out of that butthole quick. All right, so this level <laughs> is the auto molar. And everything is ice. And something to note, uh, in Super Mario World, when uh, anything's ice, everything is ice. Uh, so every platform, the mole, anything he's on is icy. And yeah, the ice is really slippery. That is tend to be what ice does. It's pretty, it's pretty malevolent to do that. Oh, my level. God. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Fortunately, there's only one mole section here. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's okay. We wanted to play it one mole time anyway. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> We've got $100 from Jay Gelvar. Carl, I'm donating pun $100 just for you. That doesn't work. That's not a pun. <laughs> that was a <laughs> That's just replacing one with pun. It was ponderful. I don't know oh. what you're talking about. Oh. Dude, um, I didn't bring that much money here with me, man. Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> Dude, it's for the charity. Like, If you don't die, I mean... What do you mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean? No, you just you, gotta stop there. You're not, you're not, I mean, you want to help the charity as much as possible, man. You got to keep the deaths and the, we'll keep the puns coming. We'll get there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll slide our way in. It's good. Oh, because it's ice. Because it's ice. That was a good I one. I get it. That, okay, that one was a good one. No, it wasn't. You like all the bad ones. No, that was, that, was that, was that, that was a pretty good one. That was the worst one. That was a great pun. You, the Triceratops was gold, man. No, no, that was, that was a bad one. Oh, okay. Well, this is fine. This is Hold fine. <laughs> oh. That's a doubt. <laughs> he actually, it, that is, like, it is kind of designed for you to skip that, your first play, and then die trying yeah, to get it. Yeah, then die to trying to get it. He made yeah. it so you would actually just straight up die trying to get the, trying to get the mid ring. Yeah. Savoring. It is all part of, like, the really weird relationship that the Mario World community has of just kind of, like, screwing with each other the whole Dude, time. It, like, I mean, this game was pretty much made as revenge nice on Panga. You know? Yeah, it was made to it's screw me. Screw me. Yeah. So, so nice! That was a oh. two-frame window. So that's a two-frame nice. window right that there. It's a two is he gonna... Okay, he's got there. <laughs> he got there. Yeah, that... That slide right there is incredibly difficult. Ooh, that, uh, was, that was ooh. the bad Koopa, too. You have to yeah. stop right there because if you don't hit that P-switch, you fall right off the edge even after beating the level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you look real quick, this overworld is a giant dolphin made of icebergs. <laughs> For good reason, we're going into the dolphin hideout. Yeah, this this is this is definitely an interesting level. Oh my god! Oh. 
That one was better, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is a speed strat right here. Um, he just skipped a cycle, um, and that should be noted. He actually does have a few, uh, more than one. Um, oh. I, that was me. That that's, was my fault, That's guys. a non-trivial jump. That was my fault. Yeah, there's a, there are going to be a lot of skips in this. So when you go play this first, your first time out there, you think, oh, Doe did it, no problem. I can do it. No, like the dolphins are terrible. Yeah. Dolphins are the are dolphins rough. are They're really rough. difficult. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. That's a See, that, three frame jump. Yeah, that goes to show you how tight that jump was that you probably didn't even realize was tight the first time that he did it. Like you got to jump immediately off of that or you're dead. Also, oh, oh, that was wait. my fault. <laughs> I have to wait four bounces at the beginning there uh, for that gray platform to move back and forth. Oh, 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 hold on. Well, this is just going swimmingly. We're not even in the water yet. We're just on the water. <laughs> this is really good. I've got $1,500 from Tang Eng. Hey! hey. Duty. Tang. Tang Eng! The man Tang. Hey, Duty. I mean, Dodecahedron. It's been amazing to watch ever improving times of this insanely difficult ROM hack by Link Dead X2. An additional shout out to my grand Pooh Bear on the commentary couch. Money goes to runner's choice. Best of luck in the run. I hope to see one of your best runs today. If we are sub 30, I will match this donation. Oh, Ooh, pressure's no. on. I think sub 30 is already dead. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a pun in that, just saying. Like, he could have he had more money for charity and decided not to. Ooh. Don't encourage the people, so. Carl. <laughs> I'm actually lining up at a two pixel window setup right here, and then this first dolphin will be the same every time. I don't know why that is, but it works, and it's gonna work for the end of this half. These dolphins will make you pull your hair out trying to do this normally. Like, they always are a different pattern unless you figure out a crazy setup like that, and even then, it's still. O officially, though, the dolphins are a feature of the game. Oh, geez, that was, that was good. Yeah. Good. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh god. Oh no. Did we get Dude, the right version? Dude, Jesus. what happened? Oh, this might be the god. wrong version. Dude, oh my god. The four isn't there. He's just gonna fall on the munchers. Where's the. Oh, oh. I was kidding. Oh, thank god. Ooh. Ooh. I was worried there for a yeah, second. Yeah, I had a heart attack, man. Um, we can't under, uh, understate how difficult this next section is. Um, this takes some very precision swimming. Like, so he's not just swimming here. There's actually a current that is pulling on him the yeah. entire time. So it's even like, it's even weirder than just regular Super Mario World swimming, which is already weird. Additionally, the throw blocks have a timer. So if you spend too long, the throw block will just disappear. Yeah. Oh, 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 my job. <laughs> Glad we all have a role here. We all have wonderful, wonderful roles here, Pooh. <laughs> that, that, was, <laughs> that was nothing. That was <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars from Lance that says, cool level, dudes, but where are the penguins? Oh! Oh my goodness. They, there's no penguin sprite in Mario World. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right, so this part is good, super precise. You have to hold down while you swim. Uh, but this is vine. If you press uh, up, you get stuck on the vines. If you press up yeah. or down, you get stuck on the vines. And if you get stuck on the vines, you don't miss, you don't make the P switch timer, and you get blocked out right at the end. And just like that, this level is doll finished. <laughs> that one just hit me. <laughs> Get one to Resi, get one to Resi. <laughs> All right, so this is Link Dead, the creator's castle. Um, and shout out to Link Dead, by the way. Can we shout out Link Dead uh, a million times here today? Of course. Yes. Yo, shout oh, out okay. to Link Dead. Link Dead, unfortunately, cannot be attending the event, but he yeah. is here watching. He is in here. Spirits. Yeah, he's here killing Dode in spirit. <laughs> So this, uh, Link Dead loves cape, and, and the Super Mario World cape is very intricate and interesting. So like, y if you push left, you can, you can fly with the cape like this, but you have to have some speed unless the auto-scroller is pushing you. So only while he's on the left side of the screen can you do that. You can control the momentum of the cape really, really well. So we'll just check this out. You can actually save the Key cape speed. flight. So he just flies off of the vine. 
Um, you have to do a lot of, like, it's hard to slow down. Once you start caping forward, the only way to slow down is to mash A, or the uh, jump button. Sticky fly. Sticky fly. Tass only. So this, that was actually an extremely hard trick. Um, this ROM hack was actually rejected from, like, the biggest Super Mario World ROM hack place, Super Mario World Central, because that trick was said to be Tass only, so they didn't want to accept the ROM hack, and he just freaking did it like it was absolutely nothing. So let's give Dota a fan for that. So anyone familiar with the normal SMW speedrun, uh, this level is meant to mock um, Roy Fly, like that first half, and then this half Wendy. is supposed to mock Morton Fly. So Castle 2 here. But, you know, with spikes Ooh. everywhere. So nice. So I'm actually going to jump up to this top platform instead, and this makes a screen wrap happen, so I can immediately get this thwomp first cycle. Speed strats. You also have to have enough momentum so that you can actually start your flight. When Mario's doing the second, he's... Okay. Backup strats. He's just singing... This is fine. Mar Mario's song for this is definitely You Spin Me Right Round. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is cool. You can... That was you, Carl. We're just going to blame that 100% on, 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 on me. <laughs> that was 100% on you. Why'd you invite him up here? <laughs> he, just, just in case anybody's wondering, Dode okayed this. He invited me. <laughs> Man. So the, uh, the cape timer here is really interesting. You can only take off and fly with the cape uh, after a set number of times. So a lot of times you'll see him kind of going back and forth, and that's on purpose because he can't get another flight off until he waits a certain amount of time after doing the first flight. I think it's like 15 frames. So if you're holding A in like the first frame of your descent of the 15 frames, um, you don't actually descend until 14 frames later, which is really hard to control. Okay. And that's why he kind of did a little left right right there. So anyone familiar with uh, Link that X2's stream knows that he has dogs. Know that dog. Know um, that so, dog. So he did a little rescanning here from Goombas. Those are actually his dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> orb. Pants. Orb. Pants. Pants. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> All right, we're off. Making great time here. Yeah, we're off, off to the last world. What do we have in store coming up next? Uh, we are going to have... Oh, I mean, I guess... Well, we should. have my garden. I, yeah. That's so the first step. Being a responsible man, Panga has a garden. Yeah, he's, he's a grown man yeah. uh, who took his time and made a garden. Hope per request. Per request. So this, this level has some really interesting design going on in it that I think is really cool. So he's actually going to kind of play through the level twice, um, but using a P-switch and a star to kind of open up different parts of the level. Nice. Also, this is just hard as balls. Yeah. Snipe. Nice. 360 no 360 scope. 360 no scope. <laughs> so now that he picks up the star, he's actually going to go back through the level that he was just playing, but he's going to be able to access a new area now that he has the invulnerability from the star. We've got a $5,000 donation Ooh. from Quiet Fanatic. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I finally got a job and now I have all this money I don't know what to do with. Just kidding, I know exactly what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you just got a job now, man, I mean, I wouldn't give away all of it. All right, so I have to jump and grab on the same frame. Nice. 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 That was really hard. That was really a one hard. frame trick. Yeah, he's got it. He has a one sixtieth of a second to grab that block. And your reward for doing that is this. Yeah, it's like a classic <laughs> little mini boss made fight here. Free game of dodgeball. You Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> These baseballs are not lining up right. nice. These moles RNG changes every single frame. <laughs> you don't okay. have one for that? You didn't have a you didn't have a pun for the moles? Dude, I was I was just tense, man. I wanted to watch. You didn't want to mess him up again. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> yeah, pull him up. Pull, pull out pull out all the ones. <laughs> You, hey, who's you, losing it? You need to get some work who's done, Pooh. How, how much are you? How many puns have you made for charity? I'm <laughs> just saying. Zero. It's got a point. <laughs> All right. So if I one shot the second room of this level, uh, there's a really cool but like insanely hard to strat that I can do. So the way that boo rings work, I can only do it two times. Yeah, so whenever you re-enter a level, it kind of saves the boo ring position that was there last time. So when he goes through this boo ring, Ooh, that was a two frame jump. Oh, <laughs> this this enemy, this particular guy, fishing boo, is fishing the worst. It's the absolute worst. Okay. 
Then Doe just makes it look like it's absolutely nothing. Oh, hey, Chucks. We had commentary prepared for him dying there like five times because like the RNG keeps changing and he's got like all of these backup strats and he just nailed it on the first try. So Kakusho Dreamland, shout outs to Kakusho who's actually doing his first playthrough of this. This level is right now. my favorite level it's in a great the chat, level. or in the game. Yeah, it's so good. Yoshi Rip. This is like, I mean, I, I don't, it's like Mario Maker. It's like stupid like that, you know? Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah, you can't scroll the screen in this game, so you actually have to do these force left, right, spawns, and respawns. Yeah, and that's actually a huge deal, um, not being able to scroll the screen. Yeah, because scrolling the screen, you could use it to manipulate sprite spawns, and without that ability, you have to really just move back and forth more. So he tosses the Goomba there because it bounces off the ground, and then it's going to give him extra height on the rebound. Bye, Yoshi. Bye, Yoshi. <laughs> well, let's get a front. Oh, well, oh, we yeah. voted. We were going to kill the animals, so, you know, oh. there we go. Got to keep killing them. <laughs> You know, this crowd's great out there. Shout out to that crowd. Shout outs to the crowd. Shout outs to all of these Yoshis that oh, gave their lives. These poor, these poor Yoshis just giving their lives for Mario. Like, does Mario ever think, like, they raised me as a baby? And then and I just murdering him. him. But it's okay, because there's another one right here. As long as you got more of them, man, they're just, they're just a tool to be discarded <laughs> and used. Also, if you go up in that door. Uh, it goes to the dolphin trap scene on the title screen. You don't want to go in that door. I just got word that Super Panga World is trending worldwide on Twitter. Ooh. Was it Super Panga World or Super Punga World? Super Punga World, for sure. All right, now right here. Right. In there. We got that was a good. <laughs> not done yet. Not done yet. Not done. We got one more. <laughs> Is that, that a yump? That's a missed yump. That is not a yump. That's 50 more dollars for charity then. 50 more dollars for charity. The responsibility that you have earned, you earned your responsibility here. It's not easy to get that responsible, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you killed that many Yoshis, man. Oh, Yoshi didn't do that. Okay, that was bad. I admit that was bad. <laughs> 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 I will admit, you had some hitters here today, Carl. I mean, I... I, I try not to make it boo ring. All right, that was that was pretty good. So the ghost house, it's got booze I'll in give it. You that one. <laughs> so he actually has to do a small jump because like the the bottom bullet there will actually despawn. He's gonna hit that hidden block to if, protect himself. If you take that bottom path, it's blocked off by hidden blocks. This was actually designed by Link Dead's chat, right? <laughs> Part of this level, yeah. In there, nice. Okay. In there. All right. So we've got some RNG Eries going on. So he has to damage the boo by hitting those shells at the top. So when he hits the blocks underneath, the shell is going to fall like that and do one damage to him. He has to hit him with all three. But he cannot take damage at any time during the fight because the floor is spikes. And when you're done, you kind of just fall down anyway. So he's going to just die if he doesn't keep his big mushroom until the end. And he cannot miss. He only has three. I have to hit that block, the red block, from the left side to get the shell to go right. I actually usually die there. Okay. First try, First man. Try. Oh, he got the wall! He got the <laughs> Pixel precise, frame perfect ending. That's a great. Dude, this this guy fight. just sees frames. Out of He's control. just a living task, man. Out, out, of of control. out of control. I'm sure this isn't pre recorded here. <laughs> So this is a really interesting level. Yeah, look look at look the timer. Make sure yeah. to pay attention to that timer. Look at that timer. That's actually a new setup. So you can turn three enemies into five if you um, do very precise things. Each green berry <laughs> adds 20 seconds to the timer. So that, was, that was also discovered like, uh -oh, like a month ago. We're going to need to get Yoshi back here, though. So we're going to need to uh, create an elevator. <laughs> so if I do this fast enough, I can actually skip the last green berry, which is insanely difficult. So. Hopefully we can do that, and it looks like I'm on pace too. Oh. Oh, oh. oh there you go. <laughs> D-pad. <laughs> All right, I think we're fine. Oh, now we're not. Nah. <laughs> this is no longer fine. This is no longer, no longer fine. fine. Uh oh, but that makes a nice little even. So what went wrong there, dude? Um, I normally, well, this is also wrong. Oh shit. Oh man. <laughs> 
I normally spit the fire out to the left when I dismount Yoshi, but um, I just did it too quickly. Yeah, There's so actually not even a reason to spit out the fire. <laughs> So he's eating a lot of enemies really fast there, but yeah, you have to eat, what is it, four enemies? You need five, five enemies. Five enemies, but, but, he, but he doubles. There. Yeah, but he, so he doubles eats them. Like, if, if he eats them at the same time, it counts for more. Yeah, you get an extra eat in there if you eat two consecutively within a small frame. So Next. you can see that again right here. He's going to try to eat the coin in the shell. Well, or not. All right, well, now we might be getting the last berry. Now we, we got the peace feed. <laughs> I need 31 on the next berry to make the berry skip cycle. So he needed to use that Goomba in order to get through there. So I've got about four yeah, seconds. Yeah, we're good. Spare. So the timer is going to be real close. And this berry skip is incredibly important because it's this the last that berry, berry is arguably is that berry yeah. that berry is really difficult to eat. Arguably the hardest move in the game. But now we just skip it, so who cares? So he just <laughs> what did he do? He just what got he through do? there <laughs> super fast. Okay, oh, right. now we can. Yeah, sorry. Beautiful. <laughs> Yo, good level. Did you didn't want to talk to him? Level. <laughs> didn't want to freak out too early. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually the last level coming up. I thought you had a pun. I was trying to lead your pun in. Dude, no, I was, man, I, I do not want to kill this run anymore than I already have. <laughs> um, so in Kaizo 1, Kaizo 2, and Super Dream World, uh, the main castle has five rooms, but Link Dad wanted to be a troll, so... He was nice enough to give us a sixth room to play. And seriously, after following that formula so much, like the disappointment when you get to the sixth room when you've been playing it for eight, nine, ten hours in a row is extreme. So yeah, this this has a lot of tight platforming in it. Back fishing boo is back. back. Expedition boo. Yeah. So With he, an extremely weird hitbox. Yeah. And flame. He looks and he's got a, a nice little look <laughs> going to him here. Dode makes it look like that fishing boo just does what you want, but it doesn't. Like the fishing boo does what Dode wants, but it doesn't do what anybody else wants. All right, this is probably the hardest room of the game. More dolphins. Yeah, there's there's definitely a bit of a difficulty spike in this level. And, and oh, okay, that one was a good one. That yeah, yeah, that was yeah. that was the best one so far today. Yeah, it, yeah. We'll clap it up, for Scarl. Oh. oh. It's, it, in fact, that is a spike right there. Yeah, that spike is a very very small window to swim under. Um, and besides that, the water's moving up and down just. You know, your timing on it's just got to be perfect. Yeah, like the hitbox on those things, even though they look like triangles, they're actually not triangles at all. The, the hitbox is just square, so you can't even get near the sides of it either. And the water is really weird because it looks like you're not swimming on the water, but the water is actually there. It's just a really strange setup. And like, shout out to Link Dead for having the genius of making it. And adding a sixth room. Shout out to Link Dead, shout out to Link Dead, shout out to Link Dead. Link Dead X2. The thing to point out is LinkedIn is actually um, a previous world record holder for the original Super Mario World speedruns. Mm -hmm. So he's been around. He knows his stuff. I mean, he's he's had the world record in like almost every Super Mario World category at some point. We got ten dollars from Sarah. This game is so hard. There isn't much room for error. I think we did that I, one. We did that I already one. did. Yeah, we did that I one. already did that one. We did Thank that you. one. Yeah, we did that one. Sarah did it better. Yo, nice. In the door. Um, doors are only three frames in Mario World 2, and anybody who's ever played Mario World uh, speedruns knows how hard they are. So in this room, he's going to be kind of nursing this bomb timer. Every time he throws the bomb, it, re it resets the timer before the bomb explodes. He's also I'm pausing. Yeah. yeah. So he's also pausing here because the statue that's shooting fireballs at the bottom right, when he pauses, if the game is paused, it won't shoot a fireball. But he's got to know when it's going to shoot. It's on a global timer. Okay. And he just freaking nailed it. There you go. In that door! Yeah. In that door! Let's go! <laughs> hey, you volunteered! We are at the final boss here. So if, if you've boss seen... Boss. Yeah, if you've seen here, uh, some, some of, you've seen some of the text in the game, but basically the, the text in the game references that article all over the place. Are we gonna get... Oh. Oh, that was, so the... I know. They come out, they come up in random spots. Like that, what the heck are you supposed to do? Right. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Wendy also has and hatware. time will be on the whistle. Time. Time. <sighs>
That was insane! <laughs> wow, what a good run. What was the that time? Was so 32 crazy. That was 32 amazing, man. I felt like we just got started. I feel like we just got started. Yeah. Wow. Uh, um, Dode, Dode, when he submitted this, was... Dude, let's... Sh Shout-outs to Shout this guy right Dode. here. Making that game look easy. I really, really want to give a special shout out to Link that X2. Um, so you guys, you guys should follow him on Twitch and Twitter. Um, he he did so much work on this game. Dode, 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 and and he's been nothing but supportive of, of this speed run. So um, special thanks to him. Um, when I submitted this run, uh, my PB was actually a 37.49. So this was a massive improvement since then. Um, but special thanks to this awesome Hey, you kind of killed that estimate right there. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you like destroyed cut, it. You like cut the estimate in half. Yeah. It's insane. You got any more games we can add to the schedule now? Like, <laughs> There is the... I just got, I just got eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> By the, if you check the credits, Grown Men. That's me. That Foss article. Don't forget the Dolphins. Oh, so and coming up here in the credits. Uh, and you. Link, Link Dead thanks you for beating the game. But if you use save states, yeah. Not so much. <laughs> this ain't one of those PC games where you just keep reloading and reloading over and over. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, Shots. Shade! Shots shade. shade! So with that, this concludes Literally. the Dark Souls block. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys ever wondered why Bowser's always just sitting there? No. <laughs> no. Please. Why he's always, why Bowser is always after that princess? Like, why has he got to keep causing all these problems? Maybe it's because he's always cooped up in his castle all day. <laughs> Can we get one final boo? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, that's another $10. That's a little further into the credits. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, we done? We're done. Think we're good? Yep.